If you are learning to code, chances are you have asked yourself this. Should I spend hours solving lead code problems or focus on building cool projects? It is a question that can leave you feeling stuck, overwhelmed or even questioning your entire learning strategy. Today, I'll break it down and give you a clear path forward. Plus, I'll share a secret formula to balance both so you can get the best of both worlds. Stick around, this might just save you months of wasted effort. Let's start with lead code. You have probably probably heard about it as the place to sharpen your coding skills. It's packed with algorithm and data structure challenges designed to test your problem solving abilities. Think of lead code like a brain gym. Solving problems there help you strengthen your logical thinking, get comfortable with core concepts like arrays, trees and graphs, ace technical interviews especially for companies like Google, Amazon or Meta. Sounds great, right? But here is the catch. It's tough and time consuming. If you are a beginner, it can feel like running on a treadmill. You are working hard, but you are not moving forward in a practical skills. The truth is, lead code is a tool, not the entire toolbox. Now, let's talk about projects. Building a project is where coding becomes exciting. You are no longer solving abstract problems. You are creating something real. Whether it is a weather app or a personal portfolio or even a game. Projects teach you how to apply coding skills to solve real world problems. Collaborate on code bases like in a team. Showcase your creativity and technical ability to hiring managers. But there is a flip side. If you skip the basics, your projects might turn into a mess of tangled code. Debugging becomes a nightmare and trust me, no one wants to see garbage code on your GitHub. So which should you focus on? Here is the secret. It's not lead code versus projects. It's lead code and projects. But the balance depends on where you are in your coding journey. If you are a beginner, skip lead code for now. Focus on building a small projects while learning the basics. HTML, CSS, Python or JavaScript. Create a portfolio website, a calculator app or even a simple blog. This hands-on experience is priceless. If you are intermediate, it's time to mix it up. Spend 2-3 days a week solving lead code problems and rest building projects. For example, create a to-do list app and integrate sorting or search algorithms you have learned from lead code. If you are preparing for interviews, go hard on lead code. Aim for one or two problems a day, focusing on patterns like two pointers, sliding windows or recursion. Meanwhile, polish one or two standout projects to showcase in interviews. Think of it like fitness. Lead code is your cardio. Building endurance means logical thinking. Projects are your weight training. Building muscle means practical skills. Here is a simple action plan to crush both. First, set clear goals. Write down weekly targets like solving 5 lead code problems or completing the user login feature for your project. Second, start small with lead code. Focus on easy and medium level problems. Learn common patterns rather than solving random problems. Third, tie lead code to projects. If you are building a recipe app, use search algorithms for filtering recipes to or sorting techniques for arranging them. Fourth, track your progress. Use tools like Notion to manage your project. Keep a log of the lead code problems you have solved to track improvement. So, should you solve lead code problems or start building projects? The answer is both, but in the right balance for your current stage. If you are just starting out, Focus on creating projects. If you are aiming for man, grind those algorithms. The key is progress, not perfection. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I would love to hear where you are in at your coding journey. And hey, don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you found this helpful. Let's decode this journey together.